let's dive in to the new QPX32 pressure switches from SCC. There are both automatic and manual reset pressure switches with UL, US and Canada, and FM approval. These are good for natural gas, propane, butane, hydrogen, biogas, and air. There is a quarter inch NPT process connection on the bottom of it. There is also an eighth inch NPT. This connection is good for differential pressure with air only. There's also a half inch NPSM straight threads on the side here for a flexible conduit fitting. No adapter is needed because the body itself has the threads. The female thread can accept half inch NPT or half inch NPSM threads, flexible conduit. You'll need a gasket, which is typically provided with a conduit fitting. This switch is NEMA 4, which is shown clearly here on the cover. Because of the tight fitting cover, there's a hinge. To take off the cover, you actually remove the screws. We've actually already done that here. And there's a lip um, to help you get a grip. So you can lift it, lift it up there. There's also a gasket going all the way around here. To put the cover back on, you first kind of align it with the switch, kind of hold it with the back hinge here, and then press down for a nice seal. There's also O-rings on the screws to provide, uh, to provide NEMA 4 protection, um, even for when securing the lid. On the side, there's a built-in test connection for manometer or gauge hose. There's a Phillips screw in the center of the barb. Loosen the screw and then secure your hose. When finished up, make sure to tighten the screw back up. There are four connection points. Common, normally open, normally closed, and ground. Adjust the dial to your desired switching point. Zooming in on the pressure switch, at the top we see the part number, and we see the maximum operating pressure is 15 PSI, the range of the pressure switch, which in this case is 12 to 60 inches water column, the temperature rating from negative 40 to 140 Fahrenheit, the current ratings, the, this switch is actually rated for ventless up to seven PSI. And in terms of mounting, do not mount the, the pressure switch inverted or upside down. Let's have a look at the internals of the switch. The contacts are gold plated for all models. The gold contacts have good current ratings for 24 volt AC or DC and 120 volt AC. We can see the contacts move. Nice to have one switch good for 24 volt and 120 volt. It's convenient for stocking if you use both voltages. Other brands charge a premium for the gold contacts. Our standard offering uses the gold contacts at a competitive price. Offered as an accessory are green and red LED lamp options for both 24 volt AC DC or 120 volt AC line voltage. You can wire green lamp to indicate good for operation or red lamp for an alarm state. Between the two colors and the two voltages, there are four lamp options. Make sure to select the appropriate lamp. It is sold separately. The lamp has two leads. The fork terminal is the voltage side and the butt splice is the neutral side. To comply with electrical standards, an additional neutral wire is needed for AC voltage or an additional negative wire for 24 volt DC. There are five ranges of pressure switches. Lowest range is two tenths of an inch to two inches and highest range is 40 
to 200 inches water column. 200 inches water column is right around 7 PSI. Because we have the low range down to 2 tenths and differential capabilities for air, this is a nice fit for proving flow for an exhaust fan, recirculation fan, across an orifice plate, or duct profile plate. For auto reset, there's only one version of the switch to handle both high and low gas pressure switch. The, the automatic pressure switches are QPB. The B stands for both high and low. Less part numbers make stocking easier. For the manual reset, we have QPH for high pressure and QPL for low pressure. We can't do both high and low pressure with one switch because of the manual reset locks in place when they trip until the reset button is pressed. The QPH high pressure switch locks in the normally open state when tripped and QPL low pressure switch locks into the normally closed state when tripped. These pressure switches are an in-stock component. Like many of our products, we invest in a healthy amount of inventory because we know the importance of availability. If you're interested in learning more, please contact our office with the contact information on the screen. Thanks and have a safe day.